The Douglas DC-5 was designed in the late 1930s as a response to the growing demand for a smaller and more versatile aircraft compared to its predecessors, the DC-3 and DC-4. It was intended for both civilian and military use, with its main selling points being its relatively low cost, ease of operation, and adaptability for various roles. However, due to the outbreak of World War II, the production of the DC-5 was limited, with only 12 aircraft ever built. Although the DC-5 was initially designed for civilian use, its versatility made it highly suitable for military applications. The aircraft saw service in various branches of the military, taking on different roles, depending on the needs of the specific mission. The United States Navy and Marine Corps used the DC-5 under the designation R-3D. They employed the aircraft primarily for transport and training purposes. One R-3D even served as the personal transport for Admiral Chester Nimitz, the commander-in-chief of the United States Pacific Fleet, during World War II. The Royal Australian Air Force, or RAAF, operated three DC-5s, which were used as transport aircraft during World War II. These aircraft were mainly utilized to transport troops, cargo, and VIPs across the vast distances of the Pacific Theater. The DC-5's ability to land on short and unprepared airstrips made it particularly valuable in the challenging conditions of the Pacific Campaign. The Royal Netherlands East Indies Army Air Force used the DC-5 as a transport and reconnaissance aircraft. These planes played a crucial role in evacuating Dutch and Australian personnel from Java to Australia in the early stages of World War II. The DC-5 speed and versatility allowed it to evade enemy aircraft, increasing the chances of successful evacuations. Interestingly, the Imperial Japanese Navy also operated a captured DC-5. The aircraft was utilized for transport and training purposes, and it remained in service until the end of World War II. This unique instance showcases the adaptability of the DC-5, as it was able to serve different military forces with varying requirements and objectives. One of the most daring missions involving the DC-5 was the evacuation of Java in early 1942. As Japanese forces advanced rapidly through the Dutch East Indies, DC-5s were used to evacuate Dutch and Australian personnel to safety in Australia. During these high-stakes missions, the DC-5's ability to land on short and makeshift runways proved invaluable, allowing them to operate from hidden locations and avoid enemy detection. In a remarkable incident known as the Dutch One Affair, a DC-5 was forced to make an emergency landing on a remote beach in Australia after running low on fuel. The aircraft was carrying a group of high-ranking Dutch officials and their families, who had been evacuated from Java. The survivors were eventually rescued, but the stranded DC-5 was abandoned and slowly disappeared beneath the sands, becoming a local legend. As mentioned earlier, one aircraft served as the personal transport for Admiral Chester Nimitz during World War II. The aircraft played a crucial role in facilitating communication and coordination between different branches of the U.S. military, allowing Nimitz to travel quickly and efficiently between the various Pacific bases. Despite its limited production and relatively brief military service, the DC-5 left a lasting impression on those who encountered it. Its adaptability, ease of use, and performance in challenging conditions earned it high praise from pilots and passengers alike. Today, the DC-5 remains a testament to the innovative spirit of the Douglas Aircraft Company and a fascinating chapter in aviation history. Unfortunately, none of the original 12 DC-5s are known to have survived to the present day. Efforts have been made to locate and recover the remains of the Dutch One aircraft in Australia, but so far, these attempts have been unsuccessful.